hey guys, a couple of you have reached out to me to uh, explain that you are not sure how to use smart music. So I figured I would make a video of me doing the first assignment on trumpet. It's going to be great. You get to hear me playing super moderately. Um, and hopefully you get to see how to use it. So I just signed into my account here. Um, if you haven't figured out how to get an account yet, uh, make sure you reach out to me. And if you're not in smart music yet, please, please let me know. Um, so you should have an assignment due from me here. Uh, and you can start it by just hitting the start button. It should ask you what your instrument is today. My instrument is the trumpet. So I'm going to hit trumpet. Um, percussionist, you have a different uh, assignment for this. It's the same exercise, um, but it should be percussion specific. Cool. So let me know if I put the wrong one in. That'll happen too. I'm going to make mistakes on this as well. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to learn this. So that's what happened with the first one. I made some kind of mistake on it. And for some reason, I gave a bunch of you an oboe and bassoon <laughs> assignment to do. So um, I'm going to try this trumpet one. Let's take it out here. So it tells me my rubric. Great. Um, when you record your assignment, don't have my part on. You want to have my part off. Okay. And you don't need an accompaniment for this. Cool. Right away, I would play a couple times to give it a listen. <laughs> Yeah, just go through it a couple times, see what happens. And I think I put this, oh, this, I'm glad I clicked on that note. I forgot to show you this. So if you click on any note here, let's say you're working through this long-term exercise and you're like, oh man, how do I play a D flat? I don't know what that note is. I always see C sharp. Oh, it's just C sharp. And it tells you what the fingering is for it. Cool. And it has that for every instrument, except for percussion, because you guys don't have fingerings. So I'm going to record this through with the metronome on. I'm probably going to mess up once or twice, which is cool. Um, I'm probably going to play a little out of tune because I'm outside <laughs> right now. So some of it might come up red. Some of it might come up orange or something. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, you're going to have to do this too. So make sure your room sounds like it's going to sound when you're playing. And it just adjusts with that little sound. can see from here is that every time I tried to play a G, it registered as an F sharp, which means that my instrument, super flat. Now, I have been super awesome with this assignment, and I'm going to give you as many takes as you want. So in this part right here, you can hit save or delete. If you hit save, then you can submit it. I probably wouldn't want to submit this one because I could fix something, right? So I saw my instrument was super flat. So what I would do is tune. That take is deleted. Goodbye. I'll try it again. <laughs> Would you look at that? Tons of green. 
right? And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the more green, the better. Now, let me tell you a little bit about smart music. It is not always perfect. Sometimes it is wrong. A lot of the time with percussion, it is wrong. So if you are like working your butt off, working with a tuner, and you still see it's coming up wrong, send it in anyway. If you're like confident that it's right, um, go ahead and send it in anyway. I understand that sometimes smart music is wrong. I've used it for a couple years now, and a lot of times with my students, it just does not work. Um, so please, if you find that you are completely correct on your assignment, that's great. With something like foundations, it's probably right. Maybe not for percussion um, because it's harder to hear the sounds that you're making um, to analyze than this. But yeah, it's it's pretty much right there. You can listen back to yourself by hitting this button. This is the play the take button. Beautiful. Best trumpet sound I've ever heard. So um, I'm happy with that, right? All the green is there. I think that's the best tone I can make right now. Probably not the most beautiful tone, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to submit that. And I can even write a comment. Sorry, my tone was really bad. I will work on it <laughs> by playing more long tones. And I submit it. And then it goes to me and it goes in for grading. So I think this automatically grades based on what it is. But for these assignments, if you're getting them done, you're going to get a good grade. I don't, and right now I'm not even assessing grades. I'm just doing this to give you feedback. Cool. So um, once we dive into phase three, we'll start talking about grading. But for now, I want you guys to just get these done. And if you get it done, you get credit for it. That's it. Just if you attempt, you get the credit. Um, I'm just worried about you learning how to use this. So I'm giving you easier things to use like a long tones exercise. Uh, and I want you to just try to figure out how to work smart music, how to get in there and do it. Cool. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm going to put this up right now for you to check out. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I will see you Monday.